Hey guys. Wait for it. Hey you guys. Sorry for the intro and no, I did not just download that song for this particular video. Like I already had it on my iPod. It's whatever. So today I'm doing my first uh, tutorial video and this is a look that was requested. It is actually a look that I've been wanting to do. I had it in my inspiration folder for a while. It's from an older collection by MAC, the Barbie collection. So here's the look. It's like a green eye, brown in the crease, pink highlight, pink cheeks, pink lips, pink curtain, pink nails, all pink everything. No, I don't even like pink that much, but it just so happened to turn out that way. This look was requested by my homegirl, Kim. Hey, Kim. Hey, mama. Uh, so, stay tuned, and I will show you how to get the look. Just as a side note, no, I'm not going out in the world with all this makeup on. I have nowhere to be. It's 12.05 a.m. right now. And no, I did not do my hair for the video. I mean. I care but tough. <laughs> no but seriously here's the look and if you're interested in seeing how I did it stay tuned and I'll show you all the steps see you in a minute bye bye so to begin I'm gonna prime my eyelid my primer of choice is Too Faced shadow insurance you really just need a very little that's almost too much a little bit like that. You just put that over the entire lid. My brow is already lightly filled in, but what I am going to do is create more of a highlight under by using a little bit of concealer. I'm using a cream concealer in a jar by NYX. This particular color is beige, which is much lighter than my skin tone, but it doesn't even matter because the point is to have something lighter. that gives an area of highlight and don't worry if it looks white right now because it's going to be blended out so I put just a little bit of that with a this concealer brush is also by NYX and it has a flat top can you see I'm just gonna blend it down flick the concealer like that and once you flip it down, you can blend it out with your fingers so it won't look as severe. I'm going to put a base on my whole lid. I could have used concealer, but I prefer to use for the colors that I'm doing on the eye, like the green and things like that, my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. And the colors in milk. Put it on the whole lid with a concentration on the base of the lid and then it can kind of fade up. You see what I'm doing? The reason for using a cream base like this is for one, because it's white, it'll make the bright colors such as the pinks and the greens stand out a little bit more. It'll also allow your shadows, if you're using something that's not that highly pigmented or very high quality, to last a lot longer. They won't crease and fade and do things like that that you probably will see if you use just a regular, maybe sometimes drugstore brand. And then, I really was thinking that I had an exact mint green like the one in the Barbie look, but I don't. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, I'm sorry. Here's 60 of them. And it has mattes and shimmers. So I'm going to use two colors from this one to get that kind of minty green effect. The first one is, you're not going to be able to see it too much, I'll try to bring it closer to the camera. The first one is on the third row, third one over. See how that's like a mint green boom that's the one and you start by applying this in a tapping motion as you can see when I'm first applying the product you don't see much color at all you really have to build it up 
for this particular one. And this is a matte shadow, so it's not going to be as shimmery and vibrant as a lot of colors that you may be used to using. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Alright, so that's pretty much like enough of that color. To give it more of a minty effect, I'm going to use this sky blue one that's in the top corner. You see that? Boom. Just a little bit on the other side of the brush. Tap it off. And this one is actually, the first one that we were using was a matte shadow, but this one is a shimmer, so that'll give it more of a pearly look once you blend it in. You see how that's up a lot and going over my actual lid? I want to clean that area up a little bit more so that I can allow space for the crease color that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to use for my crease color a brown similar to the one that they used in the picture. I'm using a Ben Nye Press Color Palette and all of these are matte colors really really flat basic mattes that you may need for every day and I'm using the um, the darkest brown one boom in the corner just dip the brush dip in that shadow and you ready okay start putting that in your crease and then just blend it out you don't want it to go too far up, but you at the same time don't want it to be a very um, harsh line. You never want harsh lines. So you better blend for your little life. For my highlight, my base is already pretty much set in that concealer that I used. I'm going to apply, if I can find it, I'll apply it. This color, I love this color. It's by the Body Shop. It's number three eye shimmer, pink and rose. It may have another color name, I'm not sure, but it's number three if they still carry it. Putting it on another flat, C shaped kind of eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to apply that under. If you look at the picture, you'll see that closer to the brown, there's more of a hot pink, almost like this color. So what I'm going to do is apply, this is a L'Oreal Hip Pigment. It's number 124, Fiery. Clean off your brush a little bit and just blend it up. Now I'm going to go and do my liner. I'm using a Wet n Wild, Wild um, Gel Cream. I don't know if it's a gel or cream. It's kind of both, but I believe they call it a cream eyeliner. So we're going to use that one. The good thing about this brush is that it does most of the work for you because of the shape of it. So all you really have to do is point it in the right direction. And it will take care of that nice, beautiful line for you. And I'm going to flick it out a little bit at the end, do a slight wing, not anything too dramatic. But because a lot, a little bit of the shadow goes out, I'm going to allow the line to follow that same shape. Then the next apply just a little bit of black eyeliner to my waterline. This is Smolder by MAC. I'll be right back after I apply the lashes. That part gets a little bit, ugh, not so cute. <laughs> be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got those on. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I've probably only been off of your computer screen for like a half a second, but I've been gone from this tutorial for like hours now. Like I left, mind you, with one eyelash on, like with one strip lash. I just left the house because I had to go get my friend from the airport. Been through traffic from damn Cobb County all the way to the airport. Went to Ultimate, had a catfish sandwich and some pasta and drinks and all that stuff. So let's continue on. I'm going to start off with a matte brown color as a contour. This particular one is by Ben Nye. 
is contour number three. Just go ahead and apply the product. And it's just going to sculpt out a cheek for you. Can you see the difference? Like you see that line? Boom, boom. No line. Skinny face. Fat face. You get the point? I'm going to use another NYX product. This is NYX Blush in Pinky. And just apply this right on top where you put that contour color. You see it starting to do its little thing? Blush, blush. Love it. You see that pink? Hello. Buff it out. Boom, 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 boom. You know, you want to act fancy. You could just pretend like you're putting it other places, but I really just didn't do anything. Let me tell you a trick about makeup artists. A lot of times, we'll be do some like figure eight. Ain't nothing happening. It's just a swirl of a brush to make you think that I'm an expert. Because, see, I could go. And you're like, oh, okay, that's basic. But if I go, you won't think I know what I'm doing. Just a little secret for me to you. Next, I need to put on some concealer. It's another concealer in a jar from MYX. These are very comparable to the cream concealers that MAC carries. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, Go to your beauty supply and get that NYX shoddy. A little bit down the bridge of my nose. That? No. Absolutely not. But yeah, yes. See how it makes it look more just like I got a nose job. Like I got a Nini. Ah, it makes it look like I got a Nini. I love Nini. She looks good this season. Don't anybody say shit about her. Don't anybody say anything about my girl Nene. I don't think I can say bad words on YouTube. So I'm going to zip that situation right on up. Oh, sorry. I know I'm kind of close. My bad. Alright, going to take this my little sponge and just blend that on out. I'll tell you all about this in a later video. I can't give you too much too soon. I'm going to begin by lining my lip with guess what brand mm -hmm. NYX lip pencil in purple rain not going to do too much liner but focusing mostly on the outside of my lip I'm using a pink lipstick I can't tell you off the top of my head who it's by because I have them in these little stack jars, but I'll put it in the, remember the box? I'm gonna put it in the box. I'm gonna put all the products that I use in the box, just in case you miss something. You can stop there if you want to, but in the video, or in the picture rather, it's a very, very glossy, shiny lip. So, what I'm gonna add on top is an NYX Brush On Gloss. Can you see the color? Love this color. It is called, Barbie pink on mine, some of the older or newer, I can't remember, some of them will say dolly pink. So if you see that, it's the same thing, don't trip. And I'm going to put that right over top of the lipstick. This pink is really pretty. It will look like that by itself when you first put it on, but I'm going to give you a heads up. It's not going to stay that same potent pink all day unless you have a good base, which is why I put this one after the lipstick. But, yeah, that's pretty much the whole look. And what I will do is take pictures so that you can see the close-ups and get a more accurate, you know, idea of the colors that I use. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns, anything you may have. And again, keep sending in those requests. Thanks to Kim for sending this one in. And I'll be doing another one soon. See you guys later. Bye. Hiya, Bobby. Hi, Kim. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Kim. Jump in. I'm a Bobby girl in the Bobby world.